So over here, you can see that I have applied keyframe onto the logo. And if I were to hit the play button, you can see that the logo moves from right and then it moves to the left. So if I want to make the animation a bit more faster, then you can see right here that this is the zero second range. This is the one second range where the logo is at the right and this is the two second range. And this is where the keyframes are. If I want to make the uh, left to right animation faster, I simply pull the keyframe together just like this. The lesser the distance, the faster the animation. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that it is much more faster and it slows down as the distance between this keyframe and this keyframe is larger. I want to make it faster, then I just pull this in this quick, just like that. And what happens is that from here to here is fast and from here to here is fast as well. It, ha it happens in fraction of a second, as you can see right here. So if I were to play this, you can see right over here. So let me just go over and then play it from the beginning. And then let me just play this and you can see that that is what happens. Another thing that you can do is copy and paste out the frames. Now that is the keyframes as well. So this is moving from here to here. And let's say I want it to stay, stay there for a while. So what I can do is I can simply copy this keyframe right here, as you can see. So this is the position of this area. So right now you can see the keyframe uh, value of this one is 639. But as I pull off, you can see that the value changes. But if I want the logo to stay there for a while, what I can do is I can copy out the keyframe right here. I can just go around and I'm, I can go to edit. I can copy the keyframe right here, go over here somewhere and then paste the keyframe. I can also alternatively press control C and control V for copy and paste. So if I were to press the play button right here, you can see that it sticks from here to here and then it just moves the animation. If I were to delete this keyframe right here, the motion gets back. There's no stopping in between. Another thing that I can do is I can go around and copy this keyframe right here. This time I'm going to press control C and then over here I can paste it. So what happens now is that it moves from right to uh, uh, left to right and then right to left and then again left to right, as you can see right here. That is because we added in the keyframe again, just like this. So now what we can do is copy out these four keyframes and then paste it out right here and copy out these four keyframes again and paste it out right here. And what happens is that you get a repeated motion as you can see right here, because we copied and pasted the existing keyframes as you can see right there. And that is how you can move and copy keyframes and paste keyframes inside of Adobe Character Animator Animation Timeline. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.